Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 129. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 126 to 130. Hey, this YouTuber had a great question about VLOOKUP. Here's some zip codes. And when he created a VLOOKUP to return this zip code, it didn't return the two leading zeros. He also asked how to return um, a bunch of values using the column function, which I have showed many times. But the main point of this one is how to get those leading zeros. First, let's name this table. We're going to highlight that range there. And this is the first column where VLOOKUP will look up, and it will return things from these columns here. Click up in the name box, and I'm going to say zip table, and then enter. Zip table. Actually, names don't uh, recognize uh, differences in capitalization and non capitalization, so that will work. I'm going to scroll over here, and I'm actually going to create one formula for all of these, and then I will uh, fix just this one here. Equals, and actually, I'll make this real big so we can see here. Equals V lookup. And what's the value we want to look up? Well, we're looking up these names here, so I'm going to go one cell to my left which is B7, and I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it so the dollar sign is in front of the column reference. So when it's copied across the columns, it's locked. That's the lookup value. Each one of these cells here needs to look up that name, comma. And what's the table array? I've already forgotten what I named it. Luckily, we can use the keyboard shortcut F3. That's paste name. And there's my zip table. I just double click it comma, and the column index. Now, let's use column. This is column in our table over here. That's going to zip code is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. So let's just use column. But what do we have to do? We can't use the argument list column because this would give us 3. So what we're going to do is kind of cheat and just type B2 as a relative cell reference as we copy it across the columns. When it gets copied over one more, it'll move to B3, which will return a 3, which is what we want. Comma, and the lookup value, the is not true. It's not an approximate match. We're not looking at numbers and in-between numbers. We're looking at false, which is also 0 for exact match, which is good for words. Close parentheses, and then Control-Enter to put the formula into all the cells, populate all the cells. Now, here's the problem. So we'll just fix this one. We'll click in this cell right here and hit the F2 key to put in edit mode. Now, we need to use the text function and add a custom number format. I'm going to click after the equal sign and before the V and type TEXT, open parentheses. There's the value. The VLOOKUP will always apply the value. And then I'm going to come to the end. The second argument in text is what is the custom number format. If you don't know about custom number formats, you can find it in the Format Cells dialog box, Number tab. Click on Custom, and that's where you can create your custom number formats. Got to put it in quotes, and then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5 zeros for zip code, and quote. That is the custom number format that will force the lead zeros to be shown. Close parentheses, you have your text looking at whatever this returns, and it's always going to format it like that. And it's OK to convert a zip code to text, because you're never going to be doing calculations like adding these. So there's really not thought of uh, as numbers, but as text. Enter. I have an error, so I'm going to click OK. And it's sure enough, um, I forgot to put a comma here, right there, comma. See if that works. Oh, look, there it is. Format text. It jumps to the next argument bold, so you know you got it. And then enter, and there it is. Even if we select Joe 10, which has uh, no leading zeros, it still will display properly. So that's how to uh, use VLOOKUP column and the text function and return zip codes with leading zeros. All right. Don't forget, there's always notes up here. If you don't confused about the text or VLOOKUP or whatever, you can. Uh, Read those notes. All right, see you next trick.